Hi guys, it's Freya here. So this morning in the shower, I was kind of contemplating why do I think I have dry skin? Where's that belief coming from? And if everyone believed that their skin was totally normal, would there be any skincare product? Normal as in completely fine, not needing anything for maintenance. Good question, huh? <laughs> so I was thinking, okay, where does my belief of having dry skin come from? And I remember being a kid and um, my mom always had really, always said she had really um, dry skin and I could see it and she would use really thin cream, really thick cream, like old school. And um, also I have uh, African background as well, so I presume, you know, I would probably pick up somewhere that people say, oh yeah, black skin um, tends to be dry. And then I had friends who said, oh, my skin is always really oily. I never use any, um, any products or any, you know, anything heavy. So I was thinking, Okay, so there must be different skins. But is that actually true? You know, it's it's like it was my I was I was watching my mom, I was watching what she would use, I would um <laughs> I would uh <laughs> no I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Stupid message, shut up. Uh yeah, so I would watch my mom she probably hear her on the phone to a friend saying, oh yeah, my skin is always really dry. And then I would just adopt it as the truth. And then, you know, my whole life, I was, I never liked swimming, going swimming because afterwards my skin gets so itchy and dry. So I basically never went um, swimming, although I probably would have enjoyed it, but I hated the 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 feel of my skin afterwards um, and I would always use um, specific skincare with shea butter with uh, coconut oil whatever probably a lot of chemicals so why is it that I still hang on to that belief you know what is it that it's like if I don't if I don't use lotion my skin gets all itchy but is that actually true or is my belief about it so strong that it actually manifests in itchy skin? So I really want to um, sort of investigate that further. Is that why, you know, this, this whole thing of skincare, it's huge. You know, probably multi-million, multi-billion dollar industry. But what it, and all the marketing that goes with it. I mean, look at Nivea and all those people. So why is it that um, it all caters only to belief? A belief in, our, in ourselves. And obviously, what comes first? It's like, okay, do I see dry skin and go like, okay, this means dry skin, which means I need to use stuff so it's not so dry anymore. Or if my mom hadn't used anything and never mentioned dry skin, would I actually have dry skin? Probably not. But we are so happy to keep these beliefs and buy all the products. And first, you know, I used to I used to be pissed off. I would go like, oh, there are so many products and they're so expensive and one is better than the other. But what makes one better than the other? You know, I was talking to someone whose daughter uh, works at Boots and she was like, you know, the ch some of the cheapest brands are actually <laughs> as good and as effective as the others. But it's just the belief. And it's fine because people have beliefs. So if, if companies come up with, um, with products that cater to those beliefs, that's a good service. There's nothing wrong. It's just that I always got pissed off from, from being sold at. But that's my own, that's my own bullshit. It's my own belief. So I decided not to be sold at. And I'm going to try um, just to use um, 
I don't know, coconut oil because I still can't quite get rid or clear up the belief that my skin is dry. But I want to just pull out and just try something else. You know, just checking whether that works too. And then maybe at some point try less and then nothing. Because I shouldn't, my, you know, we are perfect beings. So I shouldn't really have to use anything. Anything. I shouldn't really have to add anything to my skin. So I'm going to try this and uh, see how it goes. So wish me luck.